Do you want to know how to become a successful VTuber? Are you not sure on how to debut your model or how to have a successful debut? Well, great, because I'm going to show you the easiest ways to do all of that and more. Hi, I'm Mari Yume, and today I want to share some tips that I have learned over the year of becoming a VTuber. Now that we are in the year 2022, VTubing is starting to become a legit way to make content. And I noticed a lot of people are struggling on their VTubing journey because they don't know where to begin or how to improve. So what are some things that you can do to set yourself up for success before and after you debut your model? Well, let's go over your concept design real quick. What makes a good character design and concept? It doesn't matter if your model is 2D or 3D because the concept is what's important to success. The key to good character design is creating a character that your audience can connect with. It needs to be eye-catching and memorable. This is why I disagree with VTubers who say you need a pretty model to be successful. Because an artist cannot rely on a good character design if the personality and backstory of the character is bland or hard to resonate with. So ask yourself this, what about you and your character design makes you stand out? I have more videos about this topic where I go more in depth about character design and VTubing, so make sure you check those out if you haven't. Okay, so now that you have a general idea about your concept, let's go over preparing your debut. You're probably wondering if it's a good idea for you to debut or not, and it totally is. It can be a great way to hype up your VTuber avatar and get people excited to see your streams. You know, you're so lucky if you're starting to become a VTuber right now because there are so many tutorials on VTubing. Compared to when I started back in October in 2020, I didn't have a debut from my VTuber at first because it wasn't something you did back then unless you were a corporate VTuber. But now, debuts are becoming much more widely accepted for indie VTubers to advertise their model. So what should you do to prepare for your debut? Okay, first you should make some social media accounts on different platforms that you you want to promote your upcoming debut on. Twitter is a great place to start because a lot of VTubers use it to talk with each other. You can make a model reveal post to get engagement or a short video showcasing your upcoming debut. You can also join the virtual YouTuber subreddit and make posts on there introducing yourself as well as doing little teases showing sneak peeks of your model. If you are struggling to figure out what to post then take a look at other VTubers on the platform and see what they're posting. Then try to make your own unique version of their posts. Something that's good about Twitter is that random trends happen all the time and it's a great way to showcase your model. Honestly, social media is a great way to connecting with other people in the VTubing community. And I don't just mean connecting with other VTubers. A lot of VTuber fans use social media to talk and discuss about their favorite VTuber. It actually makes me so happy seeing people online talk about my design and my lore. So you definitely want to make sure you're posting on social media and talking to others. You know, socialize. <laughs> okay, but you don't need to spend all day on social media because the most important thing you should be focusing on is making content before your debut. But you could take between 10 minutes to an hour a day on social media to either talk to people, share their content, reply to their posts, and do some research to get inspired for your own content. Sometimes when I'm struggling on what to post, I'll go on Twitter and look at what other VTubers are talking about and sometimes that will inspire me to make a YouTube video like this one here. You can also join different Discord communities and subreddits that interest you but make sure you are joining these communities with good intentions because people seem to get confused with the word networking. Any good business knows how to build meaningful relationships. So don't join a random Discord or separate community with the sole purpose of advertising yourself. Baka. Take the time to get to know other people in the community and maybe make some friends along the way. Look, being a streamer can get pretty lonely, so you should be joining these communities to build friendships, not a following. Okay, I ranted on and off about social media and you get it, so you've made your own social media profiles, but let's say you're completely new to VTubing. Well, first, you should probably do some research about the community before actively posting. I constantly get people in my chat who want to become a VTuber, and then when they ask me for advice, I tell them to go watch some Hololive VTubers. And then they have no idea who Hololive is. Even if you aren't a fan of corporate VTubers, you should watch some of their content and understand certain aspects on why they are so popular in the community because these corporate VTubers are the reason why VTubing is so popular here. You can get a lot of inspiration from seeing what other VTubers did for their debut and what kind of content they made after their debut. Okay, so now you've been advertising and connecting with others and hyping up your debut. Good job! Now it's time to act. 
actually debut your model. When you go live for your debut, you should have something prepared to showcase your model on stream. And I don't mean just showing your model. This is because it's really important to plan this day out because it's your special day. You wanna make it count and make it awesome. Like for example, some people make PowerPoints. I've seen storytelling about their VTuber lore. Heck, I've even seen a VTuber host a live DJ concert on their debut. Like what? We are in the year 2022. Streaming is not like how it was. Like the fuck you say to me, you little shit. You honestly cannot expect chat to entertain you. They are there for you to entertain them. And I understand that is a lot easier said than done. But think of it this way. If you are posting on social media and you got people curious enough to want to check you out, then you need to give them a reason to stay. This works regardless if you are debuting your model or just going live for the day to play a game. You want to make sure your content is relatable and that you're memorable to your viewers. Don't just debut, chat for a bit, and then be like, like, okay, I'm gonna go play Fortnite for four hours. You'll make a lot of your audience leave because you didn't give them a memorable impression during your debut. Speaking of impressions, if you're still watching up to this point, then you are probably enjoying my video about this topic. I make a lot of other videos about VTubing as well as my own VTuber content. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps support my channel and supports me as a content creator. So thanks so much. Now that we talked about pre preparing your debut, you're probably wondering what to do next after you've debuted. Well, that's easy. Make content. It's important to be making content before your debut and after because content is key to being a successful streamer. You should make content that not only interests you, but is entertaining to others. Like I said, just going live and playing a video game isn't enough anymore to entertain people because there are so many others doing this exact same thing. If you're going to be playing a game, then you should plan on different ways to make it interesting. There are so many different activities and ideas that you can make it a more interesting stream. This is important because you want to be able to make clips or video edits after that will turn into good YouTube videos or TikToks or YouTube shorts. Oh no, she mentioned TikTok. Yes, TikTok. A lot of people tend to get angry on Twitter about TikTok, but you know what? The reality is that in order to become a successful streamer, you need to make content on other platforms. It's becoming more difficult to get more viewers when all you do is stream. And if you don't have a lot of time to be on multiple platforms, then you should work smarter about making your streams becoming good videos or clips to post online later on. There are some games that I refuse to stream because I don't feel like it's entertaining to watch. So I play them offline and make videos about them instead, or I just play them to have fun and relax. Not everything that you play and do has to be for content. It's important to also play things for your own enjoyment. I'm not gonna go over on how to be consistent with your content because it's kind of obvious that you need to be posting something online a couple of times throughout the week. What I really want to stress on is that you cannot expect to just go live with nothing planned and to just blow up. Any VTuber or streamer who has blown up from a debut has worked hard planning and promoting their streams. Just take a look at any popular VTuber and notice what kind of content they post. They're not just tweeting complaining about how life sucks. They're usually posting a clip from their stream or showcasing some artwork that they got or even posting a meme. You know, something that people enjoy looking at and is relatable. So make sure that when you do post online, it's something that's about you as a content creator and something that you believe other people can resonate with. But Maui, what if I don't have an audience yet? Okay, then think of an activity that will make a great clip or some kind of video on YouTube. You should always try to be innovative. If something isn't working, then change it. Try something else. Don't be afraid to fail. You want to keep your audience excited for what you have planned next? Now, what about collabs? Honestly, you don't need to collab with anyone to grow. I have seen plenty of streamers grow without collabing with anyone. You should only collab if it's someone who you enjoy playing video games with. It doesn't matter if the other person is a VTuber. What matters is if you both mesh well together and can make good content together. There's a lot of things I would love to discuss about in regards to collabs, but I think it'd be better to discuss it more in another video. So let's move on to the next topic. Brand awareness. I don't know why nobody ever wants to talk about this, but it is so important to work on your brand. 
before and after you debut. Your brand is what defines you as a content creator. When someone looks at my socials and my content, they can immediately tell that my whole brand has some kind of sleep aesthetic to it. Oh, and I like corgis. When you have a professional and consistent brand, you will gain more followers because people will believe in your authenticity. You don't have to have everything polished right away, but as you continue to grow and learn more about VTubing, you should be trying to improve your social media presence so people can more easily recognize your brand when you post. Remember, you want to be relatable and memorable. Now, here are some hard truths I like to mention about becoming a VTuber. The first one is that being a VTuber is no different than becoming a streamer or a content creator. I know, mine blown, right? When VTubing first started to blow up, people were so curious about what VTubing was, and that's how a lot of people blew up for simply having a cool looking model. Now most of those VTubers or people have either graduated or are losing a lot of their following because they suck at being content creators. Yeah. Let's be honest, they're bad at being content creators. Or they got too burnt out and stressed from the pressure of trying to have to constantly push out good content because they blew up so fast not knowing how to be a proper content creator. The mystery and the gimmick of VTubing has worn off. People understand what VTubing is and accept it as another form of content creation. Now they want to know how you can be entertaining to them as a VTuber. So now when you're starting out, don't expect to blow up immediately. You should be thinking about what kind of content you want to make that's good and then make sure you are setting up realistic goals for yourself. If you really want to grow and become successful, you cannot just grind hours and hours streaming on Twitch. There is little to no discoverability on Twitch and you're just wasting your time streaming every day for hours to no viewers. Nobody else will tell you this because they just want you to watch their YouTube video, give them a ton of praise in their comment section, and then give them a popularity boost by feeding you generic information that you could just easily Google. Like I could just say, yeah, make good content, be consistent, don't give up. And yeah, it sucks to hear it, but I don't mind being that reality check for you if you actually want to become successful as a VTuber or a content creator. Because at the end of the day, your content is what will define you as a VTuber, not your follow count. As long as you are investing in yourself, in your brand, and improving your content, then people will want to invest in you. People are not there because you're playing the brand new video game. Sure, some people might be, but a lot of them are there for you. Showcasing the best version of yourself is what's going to make you unique and grow. So don't give up and feel bad about yourself if you aren't blowing up right away. It's going to take a lot of failures and trying to just throw random crap at a wall before something sticks. I have failed a lot of times and the difference between me and a lot of these other people who are graduating or giving up is the fact that I don't give up. No matter how many times I fail, I keep getting back up and trying something new. So as long as you are constantly improving yourself and trying to learn something new to enhance your content, then you will definitely see growth. And it might be slow. And you know what? Having slow and steady growth isn't a bad thing. We all start from somewhere. And I hope this video helped you or at least gave you some insights on how to become more successful in your content creation. If you have any questions about VTubing or about me, then feel free to leave a comment and join my Discord where we can chat more closely with other VTubers. Oh, I also have a Patreon if you'd like to support me and get more exclusive behind the scenes content about me. I wanted to give a special thanks to my current Patreons. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all the amazing support you have given me this year. Also, if you haven't subscribed, then please make sure to because 2022, Mari's coming for you. So turn on those notifications so you'll know when I will release more videos. Thanks so much. Bye, Boas.